welcome back everybody to the continuation of captain of industry now i'm pretty sure that the comment section is already screaming at me about the fuel bolt 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 you're doing it wrong you're doing it wrong and yes i figured it out i figured it out it's still something i need to get used to i'm probably also doing it wrong over here by the way um but uh yes um i figured out how we can fill up the fuel containers over here and i do see that the trucks over here the excavators over here now do refuel over there uh which makes this whole process of going all the way over there to refuel so much simpler now this guy over here you might think is he going to refuel no 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 he's full of fuel he's probably going to pick up some fuel he's going to pick up some diesel and he is going to bring that diesel probably to one of these other containers now the uh problem was or the solution was always on hand i just didn't see it and that's this slider over here uh over here you can basically tell how you will want to keep your storage filled and i'm not quite sure what to keep full slot i think that's the minimum we want to keep in here and that's i think the point of which we want to start to export it i'm not quite sure why you want to have two sliders of this yet doesn't matter but what I do know is, is that when you set it to 90% empty or 50% empty, then trucks will come over here and start picking up the stuff and start distributing it. Which means all of these tanks over here are now slowly filling up with diesel, which also means that all these excavators that are sitting around over here uh, can now just refuel over here. So we only need like one truck every now and then from all the way over there, for example, to come all the way over here to refuel this fluid storage tank for these over here to then start uh fueling themselves again which makes me even more ask the question so why do we need this thing then why do we need the fueling station then um allow any vehicles to refuel here why do we need that if they can also refuel over here now it could be the case that later vehicles need a better way of refueling or that they do need these stations who knows either way i got it working i'm happy with that <laughs> good uh the concrete machine over here is also in place um it got water it's making concrete we're filling up on concrete over here which means we now finally got all the basics done and we can progress a little bit further so let's go way back to the um research screen again probably things we need to set up next is concrete production and probably also rubber production because both of these are slowly running out rubber over here is already running out kind of fast uh and copper i probably said concrete just now but copper and rubber are the two things we need to work on next and for the rubber um is that over here a rubber maker we can turn gasoline and coal into rubber and waste or gasoline and what is this sulfur where did we get sulfur from? Is that something I've already unlocked? Where does one get sulfur from? Um, well, probably not from the ground. Probably not from making concrete. Probably not from distilling anything at the moment. Recycling? Yeah. Nope. Transport, storage. Okay. Uh, we have an option to get sulfur, but I don't know where we get it from yet. Uh, let's have a look if we see it in here somewhere. I do see corn. <laughs> there are definitely better vehicle parts, and I think there are also better trucks later on. So maybe the better trucks do need the refueling station. Uh, but for now, our little shitty trucks, uh, they can do whatever they please. I have no clue where we're getting sulfur from. Uh, does not matter. Uh, instead, we are just going to focus on the recipe we have at hand. Uh, and that, oops, uh, and that is the one out of coal and a diesel. Good. Now, we could just plonk you over here. Why not? And we can even combine, wait a minute, what, what is he complaining about? Uh, oh, the building is a bit larger than, then. Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> really? Okay, we're going to place you, you know what? Put you at an angle. We're gonna place you over there. There we go. And then we can have a pipe over here. There we go. And then we got the output pipe over here, which of course goes up a level. And then we connect up over there. 
And then all this stuff can go out into the drink. Actually, sorry, come on. Uh, abort this one. Sorry about that. Um, I do see something we need to do over here. We need to put in a storage unit over there. So we can store our uh, rubber. And then we try to get the pipe out. Where's the thing? Oh, God, we get a whole bunch of balances over here. Uh, I don't think we need that yet. Here we go. Oh, already made. And then... Hook it up. There we go. Look at that thing. It looks bloody amazing. Uh, make me some rubber. Okay, that's rubber fixed already. Uh, was a bit faster than expected. Probably because we were running behind copper the longest of time. We can already see this machine over here requires 80 kilowatts of power. Um, we do have a bit of a power issue. How much diesel do you eat? Four diesel every 30. You over the air make four diesel every 30. Um, I think it's about time for us to think about making something, something, something like a diesel power plant. Um, so let's start escalating. Um, yeah, I think we still have enough diesel on here or crude oil on here. So how about we do something like one? Oh, I should have pressed shift. I'm still used to Factorio, where you just, like, click on the thing you want to have, and then you click as much as you need it, and then you're done with it. <laughs> um, but so be it. Um, yeah, let's place you over there. That could be fine. And then we need the pipes. And here we go. And again, I know... There we go. And then... And then you over there. Oof. <laughs> Good. More crude oil, please. Uh, we do have this pipe over here. And we're going to do the fun thing with this pipe. Uh, all the way around. All the way over here. And then we go up. No particular reason to go up. Just we go up because we want to connect up over there. Uh, we can still reach this part. There seems to be a way to get in from over there. So I guess I'm fine. I still feel that these um, pipes are not high enough for the trucks to go under. Uh, which is a bit sad, of course. I was kind of hoping that like, if you go up like one height of units, it will be exactly the amount that you need. Uh, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Um... Good, then we do need the smokestack. And then we are going to make ourselves a diesel generator power. Now, diesel over here requires one diesel every 20. Uh, we are making eight diesel every 20. So we could hook up up to four of these into, or up to eight of these uh, into the diesel machine over here. However, we're probably going to hook up four for now. Um, oh, God, where is it? There we go. It's, it's, it's still kind of confusing where things are. Um, I guess it's fine. I mean, it's... it's it's it's. <laughs> I'm just not used to it. Uh, but it's also sometimes a little bit aggravating. But there we go. Uh, and then... How's maintenance? Maintenance is fine. And then, yeah, once this thing over the air starts working, we probably do need more power. He's still complaining about the missing input. That's fine. Um, but let's let's make some good power. And then we're done for power for a while. So how about we do something like... Um, one. Oh, press shift, bolt. Press shift, bolt. One, two, three, four. I'm not quite sure why I left the gap over there, but um, the gap is already to my liking. So we're keeping the gap. There we go. That should do it. Yeah, it should be fine. Let's hope they can reach everything. That, that could, all, of course, be the case that they can't reach something, and then we have to be a little bit creative about the building. Um, but this should be fine. So that's going to give us our power. Uh, we're going to deconstruct that other power generator. We just put that somewhere in the wild. Um, there we go. Uh, the rubber maker is... 
waiting on coal. He is waiting on coal. So, what's going on over here? Oh, we are out of coal. And what's going on over here? I think you need the second truck. Oh, uh, because you're currently digging a lot of dirt, it seems. There we go. I think he's refilling over here. Yes, he is. Ah, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, I think he has a lot of dirt at the moment in his hands. Um, and I think this is the place where we started the landfill. And the landfill is already... No, it's actually over here. Um, weird. It's weird that they don't bring the dirt over here then. Um, yeah, there's still some, some logistical things we need to fix over here. Here we go. Here we go. We might also just want a second excavator over here. Here we go. Here we go. So, full of coal going somewhere. Uh, it is kind of far apart. Um, and this thing over here, of course, is not filling up fast enough. We could try the same thing over here. Like, at least make something like a buffer storage. But where is he going? I think he's just feeding it directly into the place where we need right now, which is, of course, the smelter over there, which is going non-stop at the moment. Uh, there he is. Where are you putting it? Yeah, it's going straight into the smelter. <laughs> so I guess it tells me... Oh, I can also see that my headphone over here is completely falling apart. <laughs> I ordered new headphones, by the way, if you're wondering. Um, but these old headphones... Oh, yeah, it's completely loose now over here. Probably also the heat is affecting... Uh, the fix I did, um, but yeah, too bad that my headphones are broken, but it'll be fine, it'll be fine. It looks a bit weird now that I look over there. Probably nobody's noticed yet, but now somebody is looking at it and goes like, it looks weird, and you're like, yes, I know. Good, uh, so let's order up two more excavators for now. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. Uh, and then copper is now out, so perfect timing to make ourselves some copper. Uh, metallurgy, blast furnace, the recipe is exactly the same for copper, so, hmm. I think this works. Just hook it up like this. Uh, then the copper can flow into there. Mm, and then copper electrolysis. Purifies copper by, oh, Oh, oh! I see. Okay, it's different. Okay, it's, it's almost the same. <laughs> it's different. So, first of all, we smelt the copper. Uh, we get eight molten copper every 20. Um, that means we need another two metal caster units over here to turn that molten copper into something, something, something that is uh, usable. Or that is at least uh, in its raw form. Good that we made it close to this thing over there. Um... And then after that, 8 every 40, and then 16 every 40. So these two together go into this machine over here. And there's a problem. We don't have belts yet, so we're just going to have to put it over here somewhere. There we go. Uh, you also need water, so you're going to need one of these magnificent clunkers. You know what? Let's place that thing. <laughs> okay, if we place it over there, then nobody will be ever be able to refuel any anymore. Uh, let's maybe build it in reverse. Always, always build in reverse. Uh, start with the storage unit first. And that will be the thing that is going to be sitting over... How about over there? And then we can have the liquid rainwater tank thingy magic. Over there. And then storage, 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 unit storage. You over there for the copper plates. Good, that's the thing we're gonna build. Um, and then pipe it up. No, that's the only thing we can actually pipe. Ah, no wait, there's two more pipes. We also do need to pipe up the water over there. There we go. And that should be fine. That should be absolutely fine. Good. 
So I do hope that we have enough construction materials for this. Um, what does it say over here? Construction materials. We've got nine. Hmm. <laughs> That's not a lot. Uh, how is this machine doing? This machine over here should be making these non-stop now. Uh, I think we can check it up like this. There we go. Um, construction parts. Total production. Yeah, that's stable now. <laughs> total consumption. Yeah, that's... Well, whenever we build something, we can definitely see that we're building something. <laughs> sure. Uh, that's just going to take some time over here. Um, one thing we could do to maybe speed it up is make another machine that makes more construction parts. We did wood, we did concrete. Uh, you know what? I don't care. We're just going to make a copy. Not like that. That was a half copy. Uh, copy. Paste. Give it some priority. Oh, God. Why is it, why is it so far down? There we go. Oh, didn't want to press that. And see where we end up with this. Uh, the concrete maker over here should also never be stopping. Uh, currently, it's making concrete out of crushed slag. Excellent. And I think we could use a second concrete maker. Now, of course. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot a little. I thought like a little bit like 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 the water tank over here is probably uh, a little bit too much for a single one of these. But I do see the option for us. Oh, we even can put. Well, that doesn't work for us. Um, but I do see the option over here that we can maybe do something like this real quick and live with that. Or can we flip this? We can flip this. <gasps> yes. Also, what does Q and E do with this one? Nothing. Build on the slope. Um... But flip it, flip it. Yeah, well, that's that's kind of stupid. Um, yeah, build build it like this. Build it, but just build it over here. It'll be fine. Uh, you over there get priority as well. And then where's the pipe? Where is that pipe? Um, Here we go. Here we go. That should do it. And then one storage unit on top of that one. All the concrete. There we go. There we go. That should be fine. Yeah, making more construction materials is definitely uh, a good choice if we want to focus on this. I'm already learning so much in this first initial playthrough. I've already recognized how much I did wrong at the beginning. Um... And that's why I just like playing these games. Like, you play them for the first time, and you go through all the things, you go like, ah, this is not correct. Ah, we could have done this better. Uh, and every time I learn something, every time I do something wrong, I just go like, yes, I want to do it better next time. And just repeat it and do it better. Uh, also, over here, how, how is the dig site over here? Okay, we, we have ordered quite a bit of dig sites. Mm, yeah, let's, let's expand it a little bit. Keep digging into the air. Uh, we can also dig underground. So for some of these resources, we actually haven't checked yet if any of these resources are actually underground. There's another water seam over here. Yeah, for example, the coal over here. Um, you do see this part of the coal over here, but you don't really see the coal over here. It, it goes all the way this way. Um, and then that's more water over there. Same with the iron, actually. There is... a Decent amount of iron over here uh, that you can't see in the mountain. This has nothing. And then I think this is the gold. No, that's copper. Uh, that's the gold. Um, gold. And then, of course, we've got this massive, massive field of oil over here. Um, I'm also still kind of... It's still kind of hard to interpret how much oil is left. I do see, like, this thing over there is a high bar. And I go, like, is this good? Is this bad? Do, do these bars shrink? Do they... What What do they do? Well, we will figure it out sooner or later. At some point in time, we'll be sitting there and going like, oh, we ran out of oil. What do we do? Yeah, start over again on the next island or something like that. <laughs> okay, rubber over here is coming together. Rubber production is up and running. Um, Then we go all the way over here, all the way over there. This thing over here is going to be important. We need more construction materials for that. Construction materials over here are just working along. 
Nothing much should be said. We do have another excavator over here. And let's put this excavator over here at the coal. Oh, there's already two excavators over here. Wait a sir. No, there's two excavators available. So there's one excavator sitting somewhere in limbo going like, I have no clue what I'm doing. Um, or we just made another one and he's just sitting over there. <laughs> Good. Um, yeah, having one excavator in reserve, I think it's fine. I think that's perfectly fine. Good, 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 good. Okay, you over there, you're missing one construction material. I think you're picking it up. Or or not. Look what you... Oh, you picked something. Oh, oh this also has priority. Ah. Come on, can we finish this one? Nope. You take priority. <laughs> Okay, you're missing... Oh, never mind, we finished it. There we go. And make this one. I think we can do multiple recipes in here. Let me just click on this as well. Yes, we can. Uh, which is interesting, if you think about it. Um, now, there can only be one recipe done at the same time. What does this one do? Oh, show per... Oh! Oh, I probably clicked this button by accident on the other playthrough because I thought for sure one of them said 40 and the other one said 60. Oh, this is such a good button. Oh, that's great. Just press this one and you don't have to calculate anymore. You just match the number. Why, is, why isn't that a basic feature? <laughs> well, uh, why isn't that a standard? Like, like, just put everything on the same clock and go like, yeah, here, if it's faster, it's faster. If it's slower, it's slower. I don't care. <laughs> well, so be it. I'm, I'm, I'm. Can we also do that from, from over here? No, we cannot. That's so weird. <laughs> um. Well, so be it, so be it. Okay, you're done. Um. You do both recipes. There we go. Make me more concrete. Um. This thing over here. I actually never checked. Okay, let's, let's press the button. So you make three concrete every 60. And by concrete, I mean cement. You need to treat cement every 60. So if we want to run both of these, we, that just means we need another one of... Where is it? Ah, a rotary kiln. There we go. We need another one of these. And sadly, we cannot hook them up like this because then we can't put in the vent. So I'm just going to place it over here. It'll be fine. There we go. There we go. Uh, and then, of course, we do need... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Smoke stack. At this point, I don't really care anymore that we could probably save some materials by just combining the smoke stacks. It'll be like this. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Good. Um, you are waiting on wood. Mm. How's the wood production, actually? Are, are they still chopping trees? They're still chopping trees. Um, what do we do if we run out of trees? Can we plant trees at some point in time? Is there a search button in here? No. No, control F. Uh, vehicle maintenance. We should probably also check our maintenance level. Uh, soybean farming. Fermentation. I like that one. Uh, sausage production. Fuck yes. Uh, oh, God. Medical, su medical supplies. Okay, solar panels, rockets, ship weapons. Still not quite sure why we would need ship weapons, but I guess we're going to figure that out sooner or later. Uh, deconstruction efficiency. Ooh. Captain's office. What does this thing do, actually? Your own office. This is where all the important decisions are made. <laughs> um, do the ramp thingy. I do need that. Mm, and then vehicle management over here is... Okay, that's vehicle capacity. Settlement water. That's a water facility. And then research lab upgrade. Smart conveyor routing. That could be fun. And then retaining walls. Prevent terrain from collapsing. Wait, what? Terrain can collapse? Walls can be placed below the surface to prevent terrain collapse during mining. Or above terrain to aid with dumping operations. The placement of uh, elevation is adjustable. Walls will collapse if they hold more than 5 units of height or if they are overfilled. Okay, interesting. Uh, not anything for us right now. Uh, yeah, maintenance is still fine. We don't need to worry about maintenance, though. Maintenance does require electronics, and I'm not quite sure how good our electronics are at the moment. Um, 
yeah, we're, we're about to run out. So making this copper place over there is pretty much a priority so that we can make more electronics because electronics is copper and rubber. We fixed rubber, now we fixed copper uh, and then we should be good again. Good, um, what does the clock say? 25 minutes, perfect. Can we get this thing done over here in 25 minutes? Uh, I mean, at five. Probably not. Um, so let's have a quick peek at, and that's food, construction materials. And we had a bit of a gap over here. I'm not quite sure what happened over there. Uh, but we are making them as fast as we can. I think we are either out of concrete or out of wood. Um, now we're not out of concrete. But we are most definitely out of wood. So what's with the tree chopping? Tree chopping is up in the air. And over there, we still marked a lot of trees for chop chop. Um, where are... Oh, there they are. Yeah, they're working. Yeah, it should be fine. They should be making enough. Yeah, I guess it's just a thing that takes time. So, um, yeah, let's let's call this one a little bit shorter after we did the last one a little bit longer. Uh, the copper place will be done by the next time you are coming in here. I'm just going to let the game run for a bit for this thing over here to finish itself up. And then we can have a look at it and see if the copper levels are getting up. And once we got the basics done, uh, then we can start focusing on the things like these advanced materials and stuff like that and ramp stuff up. Cool. This game is a lot of fun. Not enough maintenance. Yeah. <laughs> no shit. Okay. Let's 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 do that real quick. Can we can we do something about it? Yeah. We can just. Ugh. That's expensive. Uh, can we buy electronics? Nope. You don't have enough products to trade with. Oh. Uh, yeah. Maintenance is currently breaking down because we are not having any copper production. Um. This thing over here. That thing over there. Where's all my wood going? Like, seriously, where's all my wood going? There's wood in here, like eight of it. So why is it not being picked up? You got all the plates, you got all the concrete. Same for you, plates and concrete. Let's have a look at you. Where do you go? You bring it over here into this machine. Okay, this one over here. Pause it. Go the other way. Scram! Scram! <laughs> we can get coal from over there. Come on. Don't need to get it from over here. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, and suddenly this place is working again. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, we could upgrade it, but we don't have the materials for it. Um, here we go. And suddenly, who would have thought the construction is continuing again? It's, it's kind of weird. Um, I guess all the coal was going into the kiln over here because we were turning it all into diesel. Uh, and I guess the kiln over here was working overtime because this thing over here also needs a lot of uh, coal. Um, uh, I can also, can we, can we deprioritize buildings? Nah, we can pass them. Um, but let's definitely put you on priority, you on priority, you on priority. We, we not you. <laughs> we can actually cancel you. We were never building you. There we go. There we go. And then over here, put it onto copper. Oh, it's actually kind of... Oh. <laughs> we unselected the recipe. Okay. Um, okay, okay, okay. There we go. But yes, um, the, um, we will probably be able to build this. I'm, I'm very confident that this will work. So, if you do like what you see, please do leave a like, a follow, a comment, or a subscription. Every one of those actions does help me out in growing this channel into something bloody amazing. You can also find me on twitch.tv slash boltviking, where we do even more Factorio, RimWorld, and GTFO. Those are the main three games we currently play. 
uh, which is already more than enough to fill up my schedule way too much. And also, it's freaking warm over here, and I'm just melting every day because this heat wave over here in Germany is just absolutely insane. Nevertheless, thank you so much for today, and until next time, see you around.